I've had two shoulder surgeries uh, and a groin surgery along the way. It's been quite stop start. The first one happened when I was fresh on tour, a shoulder surgery when I was 18 years old. And I still had that, that hunger and, and that desire um, after that. And the next big injury was probably, you know, it was, it was career defining. I felt like I'd gotten my ranking into a good spot. I think I was about 130 in the world and really thought I was at that level where I was gonna make that next step. And, and in my head, that next step was top 100. It just seemed to be this number in my head that, you know, would make me happy. And um, to come so close and then to have a really significant shoulder surgery, which, you know, with that, you have to start from scratch. Um, I had really one trip to the States, actually. I was playing some challenges there, which were, were kind of make or break. And I managed to, to get some results and, and get confidence in my body. And that kind of kicked off this resurgence. In less than a year, I managed to go from next to no ranking to top 100. Because I had already made that top 100 and I'd gotten to something like 60 in the world, I knew that my game's there. If my body can get there, um, I knew that I could create a few more moments and, and create a, a few more chances to play on the biggest stage against some of the biggest names and that really drove me. It hasn't been easy, but you know what? A lot of people in, in everyday life have things a lot tougher than me. When you work incredibly hard for something and to have it come crashing down, you know, you experience some, some really big lows. That's why it's so important to have people around you to, to kind of pick you up there. I look back on it now and it makes everything, you know, worthwhile. <laughs>